What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today we're vlogging. Guess why we're vlogging? Because it's the official sneak peek for Power of the Elements. Now I'm super excited for this set. You obviously have the meta archetypes and tier element as well as Sprite. Now I'm going to be honest with you though. I am sad that Shining Neo Swingman isn't a Starlight Rare because I was really excited for that, but I guess it didn't happen. But today's sneak peek is going to be a very fun day. If you guys like these vlogs, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on Spanko, deck profiles, combo videos, videos, all that good stuff. So make sure you guys are subscribed to stay tuned in with everything going on. Now the event's going to be starting soon. So I actually got to get out the house right now so I can make it there on time. All right. So we just got to untouch and I'm really excited because we have sneak peeks about to start soon. But before we get in there, I do want to talk to you guys just a little bit. This is more like of a motivational thing. And the reason I want to say this is because I've been really motivated recently and I really want to bring this energy towards you guys. And I want you guys to manifest this because really the one thing I want to say, and I'm not trying to say this like, oh, look how great my life is. I'm not trying to say it that way. But what I am trying to say is like my life has been so much better ever since I stopped complaining and just started doing. Now, I, I know it's going to sound really easy and it's obviously easier said than done, but like ever since I stopped worrying about everything that's going on, really the only thing that's ever happened was like, good things like when i stopped worrying about everything when i stopped complaining about everything when i stopped saying oh like when every like literal thing that would happen in my life when i stopped complaining about it or stopped worrying about it what ended up happening was i just started doing things like you know something goes wrong okay what am i going to do about it i'm going to do something about it and that's just the one thing i wanted to bring to you guys i just want to bring that energy towards you guys because i've been feeling super motivated recently i really hope you guys are feeling really motivated as well or if not it's okay i understand sometimes things happen however the really important thing is how you're going to get yourself out of it and i believe in the spanko squad i know you guys can get yourself out of it okay that's it for the motivational spanko stuff let's get into locals we're gonna open up some packs we're gonna get some yo starlight listen if you guys like the video right now and you guys subscribe right now if you guys are already subscribed thank you, you guys are the goats but if you guys subscribe right now and like the video i'm pulling a starlight we're pull just manifest that kind of energy we're pulling a starlight today if we want a starlight what do we want i guess ultimate slayer dpe would be really nice though but ultimate slayer would be the one we want but anyways like the video, we'll get that satellite. All right, so we get a kit on entry for tournaments, but I decided to get a second kit today. Why? Because we want ultimate slayers. So hopefully this has something good. Um, just pray for me. And if you guys like the video, remember what I said, if you guys like the video, there's a starlight in here. So make that happen. All right, we have a chance at a secret. This is our first kit. Okay, we're getting two today. I don't know why I'm splurging. I think this set sucks. No, this set's great, but I just need ultimate slayers. This was the last kit in the box and I don't think there was a secret pull. So, bang it right here. No. I, I need I need nothing from this set other than not that. Start slow and strong. Start slow and strong. Bang it. Yo, what is going on here? If it's a secret, what do you think it's gonna, what do you think it's gonna be? Alright, Ultimate Slay, Kaleido Heart, or the anti Nibiru card. Wait, wait. Oh, two packs, two packs. Two packs, two packs. There's gonna be a secret anyway. And Okay. Last pack magic. Hey, last last pack magic. Last pack magic. Last pack magic. I spent $30 on bulk. So far. $30 on bulk. Hey. Oh no! No secrets! Alright, so we just sat down for our uh, packs, our actual packs in the actual tournament. Let me show you guys though. The whole room is booked with the sneak peek, so it's definitely a busy day today. Uh, we're playing Sword Soul. The nice thing though is that I noticed a lot of people are here to grab their packs and dip. So I think the tournament is going to be a lot smaller than it seems right now because it is pretty busy. But we are playing Sword Soul and hopefully we win. If we win, I think we get like a box of um, the new set or like uh, half a half box, something like that. So we'll see how good we do today. And honestly, today I just came for the packs to see what we can grab. I didn't really come to win, but I mean, while we're here, we might as well play for the win, right? You guys saw our first packs were not good, but uh, that just means the second batch of packs has to be better so hopefully we'll see secret rare just any secret rare honestly but uh our ultimate slay is probably the way we want to go with this okay if you guys haven't liked that's the reason we haven't pulled the starlight yet if you guys haven't liked yet what are you guys doing i promise if you guys give me your energy in the future then it's gonna come to me now it's just it's just a thing so make it happen all right guys we got our official kit here i really like this i just hate that it's cardboard i really like the art on this though okay we have to pull something now there's no way we don't pull anything again i know the room's kind of loud you know how it is on sneak peeks though people are excited we got six packs here we pull an ultimate slip bro. Please, please don't do this to me again. Please. There's no way, right? There's no way we don't pull a secret in 12 packs. I'll be so sad because like, this is so much money. Okay, okay, secret rare right here. Okay, we got an ultra rare, at least. At least an ultra rare. I don't mind that. I mean, it's not the best one. I might build Godi though, if the deck's cheap. I might as well build it for you guys for the channel. I'm not mad about that, but hopefully. Okay, an Ika. All right, so somebody pulled something good. You guys can hear how long that is. But we got uh, three more packs. We got this one and two more. So 
Let's see if we can pull something real quick. Rika, okay, so still nothing here. We have one single Ultra in a, a total of what? Eight, nine packs on right now? But we got... Oh, baby, there we go. There we go. Let's go. We got the Ultimate Slayer. All right, let me just get two more. Finally, it was worth it was worth the six packs. Uh, let's see if we can get one more Ultra for the, for the boys. No, but you know what? We will take that. We got two kits. But it pulled up the ultimate slayer. This card's amazing, and I'm really excited. Oh, baby, it was worth it. So you guys just saw what happened, right? I gotta tell Jordan because Jordan does this every time. What did I do this time? All right, what did I tell you to do? You I told you to pick my packs, right? Kit, right? I told you to bust my kit because every time you bust my kit, I pull something good. Mm -hmm. The ultimate slayer, baby. Jordan's my good luck charm. I got you, man. This guy's my good luck charm. My first six packs were bad, but that was just RNG. This right now, though. Yo, we're feeling like good. you pull a line. Ultimate we're slayer. Ultimate oh, let's slayer. go, bud. Let's go. I've done this for every sneak peek of my life. Let's get packed. Let's get packed. Okay. Ultimate slayer. Get away from me. Get away from me, Joe. Get away from me. <laughs> So um, we just finished round two and round three starting. So round three starting and I'm not playing in round three, I'm vlogging. What does that mean? It means uh, we went X2, bro. Our first two rounds were super unlucky. Round one, we played against Flunderies and Flunderies is just such a crazy deck. You know how that deck is. Barrier statue, Empin is just a lot. And uh, when they open right, they open right. Game one, I opened like trash, but game two, I opened really good, right? And then we went to the game three and then game three was just way too much for me. Honestly, I think I misplayed looking back at, not a misplay, but it's like in hindsight, I might have misplayed. But whatever, round one was whatever. It's fun to read, it's competitive deck, it makes sense, right? But man, round two. When I tell you round two was just sack central, I guess not sack, but it was just so unlucky. Let me head out because there might be a lot of noise in here. But um, yeah, that was so unlucky. So what happened round two was I uh, I was playing against Dynamorphia. Dynamorphia typically is a pretty easy deck for Sword Soul, especially with Long One Burn. And it's just really easy to out that deck, right? However, first thing that happens is game one, he wins a die roll, he sets up, whatever, and he has Gozen Match, Judgment, Imperm Frenzy. So I couldn't play game one, whatever. Game two, I went first, set up my board. Dynamorphia can't do anything against the Sword Soul board. I had Blackout set. Well, as soon as you have Blackout, you pretty much break it. Okay, I gotta go this way because my eyes are burning. But pretty much as soon as you have Blackout, you break their whole board. It doesn't matter, okay? Game three, we're going back and forth. And he has double goes in, Judgment, Frenzy, and uh, I think it was Imperm. It was a fifth trap. He has five traps, essentially, right? So I was like, okay, well, I can't really do anything about this. He just sets five passes. So he goes, goes in. And I'm like, okay, let me slowly play this out. I don't want to like, you know, scoop up right away. I slowly play it out. I draw into a Cyclone. We out the first Gozen. Beautiful. Now I think I'm going to about to play. So I normal summon my Moye and he flips another Gozen. And I was like, okay, well, I mean, you're better than me. Now, the nice thing is Moye, the token is water. So I can at least summon the token, right? Wrong. Because then he goes, flips Imperm. And I was like, okay. Well, it, actually, I can't remember if it was Imperm or Judgment, one or the other, but pretty much he stopped my Moye from activating and resolving. So I was like, okay, so now I'm stuck under a second goes in. I have to hope to draw either my other Cyclones or my Harpy's Feather Duster or something that I can break his board. Didn't draw into it. He sets up Rexstrom and his whole combo, whatever, whatever, and he ends up beating me. So whatever. Dynamorphia, you got the best of me this time. But yeah, we went X2. There's no reason to play out X2 because you don't top. But the nice thing is there's still a lot of guys here that I'm going to chat with. And then on top of that, I think we're going to be doing deck profiles at the end of the event so i'm gonna stay around just for that but yeah bro unlucky day actually it was a lucky day because we did get the ultimate slayer and we actually ended up getting a second one through trade so now i have two ultimate slayers which is really nice however yeah it was kind of unlucky in terms of the, the dueling i guess but we are entered in a raffle for the playmat and the ultra rare promo card so hopefully we get those i mean i'll keep you guys updated as it goes by but my tournament's pretty much over i'll be honest with you table one right now is uh sam as well as matt two people you guys have seen on the channel and it's literally Exo Sister versus Mech Knight. Take in, that's table one. That's our Exos right now in our last round. All right, guys, we're headed out of locals. Uh, we did some deck profiles, which was really nice. So you guys are gonna get some deck profiles of people who topped today. So it was a good day. I mean, we obviously didn't top, which kind of sucks. Um, unlucky day, but uh, we got Ultimate Slayers. We got some really cool cards. Honestly, uh, I am actually gonna end the vlog off at home because I want to show you guys what we kind of grabbed during the day because we did get some trades in. Obviously, the polls were really nice. So uh, yeah, that was really cool. I mean, I I'm happy. It was a good day. Seeing all the boys and seeing the, you know, especially the ones I haven't seen in a while, it's really nice. Uh, so I'm gonna head in my car. I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna show you guys what we picked up for the day. And then, uh, yeah, we'll end the vlog at home. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you guys. All right, so I actually got to pick up a few things. So here are like the sneak peek things, I guess. I just wanna show you. I got two Maria of Avarice. I got two of the Ultra Rare for the Gaudi here. I may build this deck, so that's why kind of why I picked it up. It's also really cheap. I got one of these Scareclaw Light Hearts. It's actually really nice. I traded a bunch of bulk for this, which is really cool. This card's not expensive either, but I think I wanna try this 
this in tri brigade so that's why i picked it up then of course we had to get the shining neo swingman still sad this didn't come as a starlight rare but whatever and i guess you guys didn't like the video hard enough because we didn't pull a starlight rare however you guys saw that we pulled the ultimate slayer not only did we pull one though shout out to the boy brian because he traded us for a second one we have two of the ultimate slayers now we need one more i want to get a play set but we did get two today which i would say is still pretty successful so this is more for like the sneak peek stuff of course the ultimate slayer being the coolest thing then i got some stuff on the side i got a little striker core here i mean someone wanted some stuff for me and they had like a mini striker core it's not full though don't get me wrong it's not like a full core uh we got some graphs cobalt eagle i like getting banned cards as well so i got the dryden as well as verte and then i guess the engage here to go with the uh, sky striker core so this was kind of stuff that's probably gonna go in the trade binder it's just cool that i got to pick it up and then uh some stuff for me i picked up this jackalope i really like the original first this is also euro print so it looks really really pretty and then the hobby league decoichi so we picked this up for me as well and then this is another card that's gonna go into the trade binder but i just thought it was really cool it's an ultimate rare number c107 i mean ultimate rares are always just so pretty like i don't know like you guys can see look how look how pretty this is i, I love all this era of ultimate rares was nice this and gx are probably my favorite but yeah these are my pickups for the day it's a lot of stuff but uh again at the end of the day the ultimate slayer is is really the most that i'm happy about you guys saw i opened two kits unfortunately the first one was really bad the second one came clutch though so overall i'm really happy with these so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog i went to locals we scrubbed out yes however we still came out winners you guys saw what we pulled so in my eyes we're still a winner so i appreciate every single one of you make sure you guys are subscribed and like the video because we do do vlogs and we do all these other videos like deck profiles combo videos dual videos all that other good stuff i got a couple deck profiles today as well so you guys are going to be seeing that on the channel as well so i hope you guys did enjoy thank you guys all for watching and with that spanko signing out peace